Hey yo, Spaghetto here and welcome back to My Maid Girlfriend. Today we're going to be continuing and doing episode 14. So let's just jump into it with our legs. The bulletin board is drawing a crowd of students. Some are pushing each other just to see what all the fuss is about. Mina and I are in front, staring wide-eyed at the poster. The poster says that someone has stolen test papers from the faculty room. Ooh! Oof! That's a fat oof right there. I tremble. I know that Kim and I are the perpetrators. I s <laughs> the stolen test papers are still in the mansion. Mina pulls me aside to one corner and whispers to me. Noodle man, the bulletin board says that the test paper thief will be suspended for three months. I know, Mina, I know. Did you return the papers? No, not yet. Kim was supposed to return them today, but then this happened. It won't make sense to return the papers now. The school already knows. And they're trying to catch whoever stole them. Tell me what you're thinking, Noodle Man. What should I say? I don't know what to do. Why? It's not the end of the world. I'm well, I'm well aware of that. I go to lean on Mina's shoulder, but she backs away. Oh, uh, sorry, you just startled me. One look at her compassionate eyes, and I feel like melting. I'm just worried. Anyway, Mina, I need to talk to Kim about this. I'll be here to help you, Noodle Man. Kim and I agree to meet each other after school. She tells me to wait in the classroom after everyone leaves. She's pretty late. She arrives looking haggard. Sit down. Do you want some water? No need. No need. Let's just get to business. So the school knows about the stolen test papers. I check to see if anyone's around, but no one seems to be interested in our conversation. Yes, and they're looking for the student who stole the papers. That would be the two of us. I'm sorry, Noodle Man, I should have returned them sooner. No, Kim, it's not your fault. They just found out about it earlier than we expected. Kim stands beside me and we both face the window. The sun is about to set, which means I have to go to practice. I still feel guilty. Ah, do you want to tell your dad about this? Her voice softens, and it's refreshing to my ears. I shoot Kim a concerned glance and realize that she's anxious too. No, dad has enough problems at work. You don't have to worry. I'll come clean to the principal and leave you out of it. What should I say? Uh, I won't let that happen. I'm sorry. We might have been bullying Kim most of the game, but that's not fair. Why not? I'm the mastermind here. You're smart. I'm sure you know the cons. You'll get suspended. What about your reputation as a straight-A student? <laughs> I don't care about my reputation. <laughs> Obviously you do. That doesn't make sense. If you get suspended for three months, you won't get to play in the Nationals. Kim sacrificing herself for me makes me want to turn myself in. No way in hell I'm letting you confess to the principal. It doesn't take a genius to know that we're both nervous about the situation. I really don't want you to take the blame, Kim. I take her hand and stroke it unconsciously. Kim, lost in her thoughts, holds my hand. Ah, uh, hey, you're holding my hand. <laughs> Kim looks at them, looks at me in horror, and pulls her hand away. S Sorry, I was just deep in thought. Oh, hey, there's a train going by. I have a solution, but it makes me feel a little guilty. I lean in to listen to her carefully. Tomorrow morning, let's leave the test papers somewhere in the school. 
That way, they won't know who stole them. I passively nod, agreeing to her temporary solution, but the guild is already eating away at me. Basketball practice starts, but I keep missing my shots. I assume it's because I'm stressed out about the test papers we stole. Halfway through practice, I approach Coach. Coach, can I go home in a while? Why? What for? What should I say? Uh... I've got some errands to run. Actually, I just want to go home and stop worrying about the stolen papers. Errands? You're a millionaire son. Why you need to run errands? Oh, my dad told me to get something from the local bank. As you know, the bank will close in a few minutes, so I have to rush. Ah, I see. Okay, off you go. Really? Thanks, coach. Right then and there, I return the ball and head out. Before going home, I make sure to pass by the lockers and get some of my books. After all those threats, opening my lockers got scary. Thankfully, when I open it, nothing's inside but my books and a couple of pens. I shut the locker and I jump when Mina yells my name. Mina, you startled me! Hey, you're supposed to be practicing with the girls' basketball team. The girls' practice ended early today. Is it just me or does Mina look a little depressed? Hmm. I don't know. She she does look a little bit depressed though. <laughs> Is it me or does does she look depressed? <laughs> so how's practice going? Okay, I guess. This is awkward. I wonder why. What should I say? Are you feeling alright? I can't help but notice, but you're unusually timid right now. Mina escapes from my scrutinizing glare and fidgets with her hands. It's... it's nothing. It's not nothing, Mina. When she replies, it's to change the topic. Have you talked to Kim, you know, about the papers? Did Mina see me holding hands with Kim? Oh no. Ah, yeah. I don't want to give a lot of details to Mina yet. She might panic again. Is there anything I can do to help you? We're okay. Kim and I will handle this. And of course, I don't want Mina to get involved in this. I check, Mi I check Mina's reaction, but she doesn't look too pleased. I attempt to prolong my conversation with Mina, but she's just staring into space. I got off practice early today, because I really need a break. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to head home. I really don't want to make this any more awkward for the two of us. Mina is the first to leave, so I walk along the hallways until I pass by the bulletin board. Fear strikes me. I can't wait for Kim to just leave the papers somewhere. The bulletin board posts even mentions the date when the papers were stolen. Just then, I hear a familiar voice speak to me. My guess is correct. I return and see Jin. Ew! It's garbage! Hey, buddy. He has this evil glint in his eyes. I'm not in the mood to fight. Who says I'm going to fight? I want to congratulate you for winning a spot in the Nationals. Jin looks at me from head to toe and smirks. What? Nice shoes, noodle man. They look expensive. My shoes are really expensive, but why would he say that? What should I say? So, <laughs> so uh, we're friends now? Hmm, no, nah, I choose my friends. You don't exactly make the cut. Ah, but I must say, those limited edition shoes will take you places. His tone is straight up mockery, so I take a step closer. Don't diss my shoes. My dad gave me these when he first discovered the oil mine. Jin laughs. <laughs> Is that so? Now isn't that cute? Jin laughs again, and a derisive tone in it. Oh, hey, okay, I guess that's it. Anna and Kim welcome me home. Now, the only reason I could think of Jin mentioning my shoes is if he, like, saw, like, my shoes on the night we stole the papers, and I really hope not. Hopefully, it's just nothing. Anna and Kim welcome me home. Hi, girls! Master, Kim told me about it. Kim, what did you tell Anna? I told her that the school found out about the, the stolen test papers. 
学校のどこかに答案用紙を置き去りにする計画のことも。And I told her our plan to leave the papers somewhere in the school tomorrow. Anna gives, me a sim- Anna gives us a sympathetic look. I'd suggest you confess, but that would put Kim's grades in danger, and Master wouldn't get to compete. Suspension is no joke. I feel guilty about it too. Oh, by the way, where's Mina? She's just in her room. She's probably not feeling well. Ah,、uh, she seemed a little glum today. Anyway, I'd rather not discuss this with Mina. She'd worry too much. If the two of you get caught, will you tell your dad? What should I say? I might. I haven't been completely honest with him either. You're right. Your dad deserves to know. Makes sense. You didn't tell him that Jin beat you up, did you? I look at the floor feeling guilty. I just don't want to cause him any trouble. Your dad will find out eventually, Noodle Man. Trust me. That is, if we get caught. That's why we need to leave the stolen test paper somewhere, first thing. Yes, agreed. Before dinner is served, I go downstairs to check on Mina. I find her in the living room, wiping the tables. Mina. Yes, Master, what can I do for you? I heard you're not feeling well, is it true? She cocks her head to the side and evades my gaze. I'm fine now. No, you're not! Stop lying to me! Stop it! That's not true, you're not fine. Urgh! I've known you for long enough to tell that you're not okay. Um, I. I have things to do. I gent. Oh, wait, wrong game. I gently tug at her arm, knowing how fragile she can be. The slight contact with Mina's soft skin ignites me. Mina, look at me. That's an order. Shyly, she looks at me, her puppy dog eyes drawing me in. I want to talk to you. What should I say? Want to talk somewhere private? Huh? What do you mean? Her voice rises two octaves, but her usual energy is back. I walk towards her and she steps back, but I keep t- walking until she hits the wall. I place my left palm against the wall, cornering her. I, I-, I asked you a question. I give her a smirk. Exactly what I said. Just the two of us in my room uninterrupted. <laughs> ah, it's so creepy! Ah! But wait, that's illegal! You said you wanted to talk. Um, yes. Okay, Master, let's go to your room. Mina locks the door when we get to my bedroom. Oh no. <laughs> my palms are sweating, my knees weak, mom's spaghetti as she approaches me. Master, I don't want anyone to hear us. I try to keep my mind out of the gutter, but her subtle lip bite has my stomach in knots. Mina, what are you talking about? I, I don't want them to hear what I'm going to say. Your secret is safe with me. Promise not to make fun of me? I won't. Hesitantly, Mina looks down and nods. I've been quiet because I noticed that you're really close with Kim and Anna. I mean, yeah, Mina, we're friends. Of course I'm gonna be close with them. Mina. Mina. Anna's like one of the people that raised me. And Kim's been my friend forever, even though she has pink hair. I know you think I'm overly anxious, but I can control my emotions too. And. I'm really jealous of them. They're pretty. They're. I cut Mina off when she sounds like she's about to cry. Whenever she's sad, I feel the same. Do you even realize how pretty and amazing you are? Mina surprises me when she hugs me tightly. Aww. 
I love it when I get to hug Mina. My face is dangerously close to hers, and I could see I could see tears welling up. Don't look at me when I'm crying. I'm ugly. No, look in the mirror, and I'll tell you you're wrong. My eyes travel down to her lips, and I find my own lips near hers. We look like we're about to kiss. No need to be jealous. You're you, and I like you all equally. You have literally no idea how crazy beautiful you are. Mina blushes bright red, changing the topic as she moves away. And I I've been feeling shy again because Coach tells me my basketball skills are improving. Coach is just saying that to motivate her. <laughs> That's pretty sneaky. Don't worry, Mina. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Mina hugs me, and I hug her even tighter. Aww. I'll give it my all, Noodle Man. I promise. I know you will, Mina. I know you will. Later that night, I stay up late. I'm still thinking about the, the dangers of getting caught by the principal. What will he say to me once he finds out that Kim and I stole the papers? I'll cause drama, and I don't want that. I decide to go down again and get a glass of water, but, but stop when I overhear something. My maids are in the kitchen, and they seem to be talking. I hide behind the wall. I know I shouldn't eavesdrop, but something tells me that I need to. From behind the wall, I can, dis I can distinguish their voices. Stop teasing me! Oh, Mina, we're not teasing you. We just find it cute that you're playing basketball. It's even cuter that you're so tiny. I Excuse me! You're the smallest one here, Kim! <clears throat> Alright. That's why I trip most of the time. I start to feel a little bad. I know Mina tries really hard. Kim and Anna are definitely not making fun of her, but I know that Mina could be sensitive. I wait for Kim and Anna to retreat to the room so I can talk to Mina alone. Mina and I bump into each other. Why are you still up? What should I say? Uh, I came to teach you basketball. Uh, uh, come again? You're still awake because you're going to teach me basketball? This is what you call a white lie. I was just going to grab some water, but then this came up. Yeah, didn't you mention a while ago that you need to improve your skills? I just find it hard to not smile at the sight of Mina blushing. I know you're really cute. I mean, you know you're really cute. <laughs> Shoot, what did you say? You really don't need to say that, Master. But if it's alright with you, will you please, then will you please teach me? I'd be more than willing to help you. Let's go outside and start practicing. Mina is holding the ball in her hands, but she's trembling. Hey, are you okay? I, yes, I just want to practice my ball handling and shooting. Look at Mina's uniform, how it's moving. She breathes with her lungs. Is that okay, Master? Sure, first relax and grip the ball steadily. I step behind her and teach her how, extending my long arms. Along the way, my, hand, my hands touch her trembling ones. In the next second, Mina looks over her shoulder and screams. <laughs> I didn't know you were behind me. Why are you touching my hand? Sorry, Mina. I was just trying to teach you how to hold the ball. Will you let me touch your hand? <laughs> yes, coach. Hee hee hee. You're my coach for tonight. Carefully, I help Mina position her hands on the ball. She gets it wrong a couple times, but eventually she seems to get the hang of it. Afterwards, we play basketball and I teach her some shooting techniques. Surprisingly, Mina absorbs the lesson well. Amazing, your techniques really did the trick. Mina grips the ball with confidence and begins to dribble smoothly. I gotta say, your dribbling's not so bad. Really? You, you think so, Noodle Boy? Alright, Noodle Man? 
Honestly, I'm impressed. Mina leaps in joy, but she trips on her own feet. And she yelps like a puppy, and I run to her side. As I'm crouching down to help her, my eyes land in her smooth face. I wish you'd be my coach all the time. The natural response would be to smile, but instead I stammer. I I actually, I I'm happy I get to spend some time with you. Mina chuckles and kisses my cheek. Oh. Oh. Mido. Arigato for today, coach. Uh, you're welcome. I'm less speechless. Mina just kissed my cheek! <laughs> I awaken, not to the sound of my morning alarm, but the sound of my phone ringing. Thinking it's dad, I grab my phone from my bedside table, but it's not dad calling. It's from an unknown number, but I still pick it up. Hello. I suddenly panic when I recognize who's on the other line. Who could have called? Why did I panic? Better keep playing to find the answers. And that is the episode 14. We will do episode 15 soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of this video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know. You can be also, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a donation link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.